speech number three, and its title is Observe Your Weather Warming. That just weather warning. <laughs> I need to work on my handwriting a little bit. But uh, his name is Calvin. I'm looking forward to hearing your speech. Let's welcome Calvin to the stage. Near and dear to my heart because that's actually what I did my thesis 
on, and that's something called straight line waves. Now when a tornado forms, there's a bunch of air rushing up, and it expands, and that's what becomes such a thunderhead cloud. Well, the first law of physics tells you for every action, there's an equal opposite reaction. But for all that energy going up, something's going to come down, and that downdraft comes down with the rain. And depending on how a storm moves, if that downdraft comes down and hits the ground, it's going to move forward, it's going to move outward. And this is very strong wind moving out. These winds can get up to 80, 90, 100 miles per hour, and they can be just as damaging as tornadoes. People usually don't think about this because again, the tornado is a big monster, and straight line winds are wind. You can't see wind. I see stuff blowing, but that stuff blows all the time. You still have to be careful about that. Straight line winds knock down trees, take down power lines, and everything else. So you have to be careful with that. So just to quickly recap again, know your weather warning. If there's a tornado warning, it does mean that some location has been found. Do seek action. Don't panic. Listen to what's going on. When you get the off here, go back to what you were doing. If you get a severe thunderstorm warning, don't ignore it. But if you get nothing else from here, don't ignore any weather warning. Just find out what's happening. Get the information, process it, and know what the threats are. If you see a flooded road, don't go out. If there's lightning in the distance, it's not a good time to go play golf. If uh, it's starting to get windy, you can see a storm across, you're going to stay inside a little bit. So as we enter into this southeast severe weather season, and you start to see what the weather men are talking about, you have a little better understanding. You can keep yourself better prepared, and you can keep yourself safe, which is my goal as a meteorologist anyway. I want to keep safe during times of severe weather.